So if you are a developer new to Ethereum or blockchain in general, it is possible you're overwhelmed trying to understand all the tools and technologies in the Ethereum e ecosystem. At least I was when I was trying to understand all this. So hey guys, this is Arya from Edureka. And for today's session, I decided to briefly describe the various components you come across frequently while starting to learn Ethereum. To be more specific, let me show you all what you're gonna learn in today's video. We'll discuss the jobs and salary trends in Ethereum's ecosystem. Then I'll briefly talk about some of the popular decentralized applications. Then eventually, I'll discuss the various tools and technologies for development on Ethereum's platform. Hopefully, this will help you get a bigger picture of Ethereum's ecosystem and how all the pieces fit together. All right, let's start with a brief discussion on Ethereum. Ethereum is a smart contract based blockchain on which you can build decentralized applications that run on smart contracts. Now, if you're a technologist, you can always read the Ethereum white paper. Let me just give you guys a quick peek into it. So this is the Ethereum white paper and you can find all the technicalities and specifications and the workings as to how Ethereum works to the tiniest details out here. If you want, you can just go ahead and check it out. So because of its huge number of applications, Ethereum is a titan in the blockchain industry. Its market value is predicted to reach soaring heights in the next couple of years. Now having said that, the number of blockchain jobs has seen a dramatic increase according to the data provided by IT Jobs Watch UK. The amount of capital flowing into the space, mostly through ICOs, has put blockchain and smart contract developers on a pedestal. The companies are increasingly seeking experts to focus on this new technology and job seekers have become quick to react. The amount of money and excitement in the space is driving up the demand for Ethereum developers. Because of this, they can demand very high salaries. The salary trends of Ethereum developers, specifically in the US and UK, has seen a tremendous rise in the recent years. If you look at the graph, the average salary in UK, it has seen around 100,000 euros. In high-tech regions of US such as Silicon Valley, New York and Boston, the average annual wage of blockchain developers is around $158,000 and software developers get around $140,000. The blockchain world is quite nascent as of now and this is the time to seize the opportunity before it fades away. Now to become an Ethereum developer is no easy task. There are lots of tools and technologies used for the development on Ethereum and because the platform is still evolving at a rapid pace, many such tools are getting outdated. Recently, while developing a decentralized application using Web3.js, I got a message in the Chrome console saying that Web3 will be deprecated in the new future in the favor of Ethereum provider. So it is necessary to keep yourself updated with the technology and the related tools. So first things first, to develop any application, we need a programming language. Similarly, to develop a decentralized application, we need to first create a smart contract. Ethereum gives you multiple options for writing and deploying smart contracts. The most basic to start with is Remix. It is a web interface that helps you write, deploy, and interact with your smart contracts. Another easy way to use is the integrated development environment called Pragma. So let me just show you guys Pragma for a bit. Okay, so Pragma is a tool really similar to the Remix IDE, and that lets you write, deploy, and interact with your contracts directly from your browser. It is more limited than Remix, but easy to understand and use. After deploying your contracts, you can even share a user interface that lets your users interact with the smart contracts in a really simple way. This is one of the key features as users don't need to install anything aside from MetaMask and you don't have to develop any front end. Pragma is the number one go-to tool for the first time Ethereum developers that just want to play around and test the features of Solidity. You can also use code editors for writing and editing Solidity code files like Visual Studio Code, which is a source code editor developed by Microsoft. Another cool editor would be Atom, which is easily available for Mac OS, Linux, and Windows. So now that we are done discussing the text editors that you might need to develop Solidity code, it's time we look at the compiler that is used for compiling Solidity. So Solidity, while it looks like JavaScript, you still need a different compiler to compile it. So the compiler that we used is called SOLC. So let me just show you the documentation for it once. So in the documentation, you can find how Solidity compiler actually works, and you can find all the installation guides that are used for actually installing it. In my opinion, you can just easily install it through Node.js or Docker. The Solidity compiler is your translator from the smart contract language to Solidity Ethereum's bytecode. So what happens is the contract definition is passed through the compiler, which generates a bytecode and the application binary interface for deployment on Ethereum blockchain. Okay, so now suppose you've written a Solidity code and it turned out to be faulty or has security issues. Since you pay by size for all you write to the blockchain, contracts included, it's in your interest to make sure you're not wasting your money by uploading faulty code. So we have a tool for this and that is called Solium. 
Solium identifies and fixes style and security issues in your Ethereum smart contract. Its redistributable configuration files provide great flexibility in which checks to apply. You can automate, extend, and integrate all using Solium. You can extend Solium functionality by writing your own plugins or use the best ones distributed and maintained by the community. You can integrate Solium with your CI system like Travis and Jenkins. This empowers you to standardize coding practices between your organizations, making review and audit a breeze. All right, so far you have written a nice contract and compiled it using the Solidity compiler. Now you have to set up a development environment to deploy your contracts on Ethereum blockchain. To interact with Ethereum blockchain, we have tools called Ethereum clients. People who are new to Ethereum mostly go with get client, but I mostly prefer parity. Parity is the fastest and most secure way of interacting with Ethereum's blockchain. Formed by Dr. Gavin Wood, the former CTO of Ethereum, this client is fast, lightweight way to run an Ethereum node. Run parity and hop over to localhost 8080 to play around in their web UI. Honestly, it's a cumbersome process to install, but once it's up and running, Parity is a big upgrade from Get. If you want a simple access to the blockchain through the browser, MetaMask is a very beautiful option. This little Chrome extension drastically improves how easily people can interact with your decentralized applications. It is unrealistic for everyone in the world to run a node to interact with the blockchain. So if you want a simple access to the blockchain through the browser, MetaMask is an option. This little Chrome extension drastically improves how easily people can interact with their decentralized application. It is unrealistic for everyone in the world to run a node to interact with the blockchain. So the folks at MetaMask host several nodes so that you don't have to. All you must do is install MetaMask and it automatically connects to their nodes. So MetaMask allows you to run Ethereum decentralized applications right in your browser without running a full Ethereum node. It is a plugin for Chrome and uses services called Infura. Infura has Geth or Parity blockchain nodes installed. There is another important application of MetaMask. When dealing with your transactions on the mainnet, you need to check for security. Wallets are not secure anymore, and the best way to use MyEther wallet is to use it with MetaMask to carry out your transactions securely. So now let's discuss about MyEther wallet. So let's visit MyEther wallet first of all. So MyEther wallet is a free open source client side interface for generating Ethereum wallets and more. Using MyEther wallet, you can interact with the Ethereum blockchain easily and securely. You should always double check the URL before unlocking your wallet. Now let's discuss some of the command line tools that are available for development of Ethereum application. So there are some command line tools that make development a lot easier. These are Truffle, Embark, and Dapp. Until now, the only way we used to interact with our contracts was to deploy them manually through a node console into a local Ganache node and then load them using Web3. Now we have Truffle. Truffle is a development environment, testing framework, and asset pipeline for Ethereum, aiming to make life as an Ethereum developer easier. Truffle provides the building blocks to quickly create, compile, deploy, and test blockchain apps. Although Truffle is considered as the most suitable framework, it seems we have a second choice here too, and that is Embark. Embark is another popular framework for building, testing, and deploying your apps. With Embark, you can automatically deploy your contracts and access them with the JavaScript promises. Embark monitors the changes and will redeploy your contracts on the decentralized applications when updated. It manages chains and keeps tracks of all deployed contracts very easily. Then we have DAP. It is a simple command line tool for smart contract deployment. The documentation contains all the information you need to get started with for using DAP. These were some really smart frameworks which makes the building of DAPs much, much easier. Now, wouldn't it be cool if we had the infrastructure to ensure that your decentralized application scales to meet the demands of your users? So for this, we have another tool called Infura. So let's visit Infura's site for once. So as you can see, according to Infura's website, they provide scalable and safe Ethereum nodes that become available for developers. When starting with blockchain development, something can be a deal breaker is getting the blockchain on your device. Thanks to Infura, you can access any data you would normally access through Web3.js tool through their API. Infura provides to anyone, free of charge, a set of nodes you can query to get blockchain information, transaction receipts, and events. On their website, they tell that they handle more than 5 billion requests per day and more than 9,000 developers. To use Infura, you need an API key that you can get by registering on their website. You should note that some operations are not permitted as they may be too costly for them to handle, such as new blocks and event listening. Next on our list of tools, we have Dapboard. So Dabboard is analytics platform for Ethereum smart contracts. Dabboard is a new Ethereum blockchain explorer. With this tool, you can easily see in a visual way how smart contracts and decentralized applications are doing. 
how many users are using a decentralized application, how much ether is processed by the contract, and much more. You can also visualize global charts that compare games and tokens living on the blockchain. All right, these are some really cool technologies and tools for Ethereum development. Now let's see how these tools fit together to constitute the Ethereum ecosystem. As you can see from the infographic, the Ethereum network consists of multiple nodes, and one of the nodes holds your deployed smart contract. Now, to interact with the nodes, we either use Geth or Parity, and we use MetaMask or MIST to actually deploy and interact with our contracts. Then there is ENS, which is Ethereum's naming system, which is a DNS for the Ethereum world. Just like you map an IP address to a human readable name, you can map any Ethereum contract or wallet address to a human readable name. Then we have Swarm and IPFS. Swarm is a decentralized content storage and distribution service. You can think of it as CDN, but instead of the entire CDN being hosted on one company server, it is distributed on computers across the internet. Just like you run an Ethereum node, you run a Swarm node to connect to the Swarm network. IPFS is conceptually exactly similar to Swarm. It is a decentralized storage system, and it is not related to Ethereum directly, but can be integrated with Ethereum very easily. So you guys must have realized that you need to handle a lot of tools while becoming an Ethereum developer. Aside from learning all about Ethereum, learning about these tools can be very cumbersome. We at Edureka will teach you all about these tools, starting from the beginner content like Blockchain 101 to even advanced solidity and decentralized application development. Edureka provides live instructor-led online training. Leaving that aside, Edureka also provides a 24-7 support team that is there to guide you through your technical and non-technical issues that are related to your course. Once you enroll for a batch, you will be provided with a lifetime access to Edureka's carefully crafted learning management system. The learning management system will contain all your class recordings, presentations, PDFs, and information regarding your project. At Edureka, once you enroll for a course, you can even reassign your batch at your own convenience. If you're not satisfied with the single goal of the course, you can even sign up for future batches a number of times. Classes that you miss are recorded and uploaded to your LMS just to make sure you really never miss out on any class. Above that, Edureka also has a community forum where you can ask all sorts of questions and get answers from them from specialists working at our company. So that's it from me, guys. I hope you all learned something new about Ethereum today. Goodbye. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!